trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv Well, hello everybody. It's Paul Mash TV time once again. I'm Paul Mash, of course, and we got another great interview coming up for you in just a moment. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell here on YouTube, and you're always going to get the latest interviews whenever they become available. And uh, don't forget to check out our comment section, leave a comment there. We'd love to hear from you there. And if you uh, are on Facebook, go to facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. And feel free to like the page, inboxes, comment, everything you see. We'd love to hear from you there. And we have email, of course. It's palmmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And feel free to use that if you're a band or solo artist wanting to be on a show, or if you're just simply a fan. We'd love to hear from you there as well. And uh, don't forget to check us out every Wednesday at uh, 6 p.m. Central on Roku Channel Smile World TV. We'll have one of our episodes there for you. And we'll recap all this in the closing credits at the end of the show, so stay tuned for that. From Mount Vernon, Illinois, we have uh, Angelo Chavez, and uh, he's an Elvis tribute artist, and I think you're really going to like this guy. And uh, we're going to get to that in just a moment, but first, here's another quick word from Click Jam. Don't go away. We got history, got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me, thinking about what could Okay, here we are with the interview, hey, here we are with the interview. Angelo Chavez from Mount Vernon, uh, he's an Elvis tribute artist, an Elvis tribute artist. And, uh, here on the show, excuse me, uh, no, you're very welcome, thank you for having me, um, it's, uh, it's a very honor to uh, be interviewed by you. Um, you do have very awesome videos. Uh, I want to say that right off the bat, you know. Uh, again, thank you for the privilege for me being on the show with you. Well, thank you. I hear that all the time. Thank you. I hear that all the time when I say that, so I appreciate that. So I appreciate that. Well, how did it all begin for you? How did it all begin for you? I mean, have you did you watch the movies in an interview? I mean, tell me. Um, I started uh, at a young age. Um, I started at the age of 13. Um, my mom was a very big Elvis fan. Um, I was uh, in the kitchen uh, playing with my, my toys at the time, and um, I heard uh, this song come out of nowhere, and I'm like, well, Mom, who are you watching? And, uh, and she goes, Elvis, and I was like, Elvis, so I walked into the living room, and they were doing a small clip of uh, Elvis's movie, because it was uh, movie night, and the first one was Joe Haas Rock, obviously, and I'm like, wow, you know, and so when I seen that, I was like, hmm, so <laughs> uh, I went back in my room, and I'm sitting, I'm thinking about this, right? And I'm like, well, and so I grabbed my mom's record player and I grabbed a couple of her, uh, she had the old 45s, you know? And I'm sitting there and I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm almost, I'm singing, you know, I'm like, okay. So about, uh, oh, I say about two or three weeks later, we were doing a talent show at my school and Open, looked, open my big mouth, and I told my teacher, I said, well, I can do Elvis. She just looked at me like, what? I'm like, yeah. So I turned around, and she goes, all right, cool. So, you know, you go to the drift store, you know, back then, you know, I found a shirt with already bedazzled and everything and bought a pair of white uh, uh, blue jeans, and... I'm sitting there, and my mom used to sew her thing by hand. So I went to school, and I come back home, and my mom already had it all sewed up. You know, the, the shirts and the pants, and I'm like, okay. 
and I did suspicious minds and the the school just went nuts. But I did what you call sing alongs. I will sing with Elvis just before we heard about, you know, CDGs and everything else. And that's how I got started, y'all, uh, at the age of 13. And ever since then, I've been um, doing backyard birthday parties uh, as a little kid, you know, making 50, 60 bucks just doing backyard birthday parties. Up until, uh, up until I was 21. And then that's when I started knowing about the, you know, the CDGs, uh, at first, I didn't know what they were until, you know, I went to this karaoke bar and this guy was singing uh, Blue Suede Shoes. And I'm looking and I don't hear Elvis. I'm like, what in the world? And that's when he told me, he goes, these are what you call CDGs. I'm like, CDGs? And he goes, CD graphics. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I've been doing this for about 31 years on and off, you know, um, a lot of people ask me, you know, are you ever going to ever enter a contest or anything? Because a lot of people say, you know, you should enter and, you know, I was like, I will when that time comes, you know, when I find the, the right one and brings up that that meeting. Uh, there is a contest coming up uh, in Springfield, Illinois, this coming July, uh, 29th, 30th, and the 31st. And I will be on stage for my first time uh, in front of 1,600 people at a contest. So <laughs> it's just going to be uh, very interesting. Um, I was born and raised in Chicago. Um, my hometown right now is Mount Vernon, but my main hometown is Chicago. Uh, born and raised there. Um, people ask me, you know, do you have proof? And as you know, Paul, you did look at my Facebook. And <laughs> so I have a lot of proof of what I, what I do. And um, I know you people say, do you ever get nervous? Yeah, you do. Uh, what I do, yes, I do get nervous. You will never get rid of that. Um, people say, well, you've been doing it for so long, you know, that should be like nothing. Technically, uh, no, you'll never get over the nervousness because you don't know how they're going to act when you get on that stage. You know, I've done uh, I've done three St. Jude benefit concerts. Um, I'm setting up another one uh, for March, uh, March 20th. Um, another St. Jude benefit concert right here in Mount Vernon. Um, I've done uh, basically my own birthday show which was kind of weird, <laughs> you know, but um, I'm hoping to adventure myself doing my own personal uh, CD. Uh, I'm looking forward to try to do something like that uh, before the end of this year. Um, we do have I do have other ideas that I want to do uh, as being, you know, an ETA. Um, I'm just rattling my brain right now of trying to put everything back together again. You know, um, I'm doing this not only because I, you know, I like doing it, uh, but I'm also trying to keep Elvis Presley's memory alive. You know, um, with the jumpsuits, uh, as you can tell with the hair, the sideburns, um, a lot of people say, well, you know, it's hard to fill that man's shoes, which it really is. And Paul, you know, if you've already seen a couple of them that, you know, they want to get close, you know, but someone wants to take it, you know, to the extreme. And I try to 
work my way in between that, you know, be him on stage, but still be myself off stage. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and what sometimes a lot of people ask me, is that very hard to do? Yes, it is. Because when you walk in the world, you know, and they just got done seeing your show, you know, you have no way but to sound like Elvis when you're talking to your fans or people in public. Um, yes, that is very hard. Uh, my wife, uh, she's my big supporter. Um, she records all my videos. Even when I go live, she does the same thing. Um, a lot has to do with courage. And me, you kind of, you know, me, I kind of look back like, oh, wow. I mean, now this is going to be more fulfilling than before. Because when you're a kid, you know, you think, well, well I can do well this, you know. Hey, yo, well, here's 50 bucks, you know, thank you. And for one day, when you start to get older, like me, you know, you start to say, wait a minute, you know, I'm singing in front of 50, 60, 100, you know, people. And you're like, this hard work paid off. You know, yeah. uh, my mom, you know, may rest her soul. And my dad, you know, I know they're looking down on me saying, you know, son, you have proved who you are and what you can do. And I know you have some questions to ask, um, feel free. Um, because being the life of an ETA is more difficult than people think it is, you know. Uh, there's people that, you know, ask my wife, you know, how does it feel to be married to an ETA? You know, her reply is, he's the same that he was when I first met him, and he's still the same when he's in that jumpsuit. He's still Angelo to me. You know, because, Paul, one thing I have to point out to a lot of people, to the fans, we're fantasy. You know, because they never got to see Mr. Presley in person, so they look at us, but in reality, we're who we, who we are. You know, I'm still Angelo. We you know be off stage, but when I'm on stage, I'm Mr. Presley. And now what makes the more enjoyment out of it, Paul, is when I'm in that jumpsuit, as you can tell, you know, from the picture here, you know, you look at them, look at me and says, wait a minute, that can't be him. It's impossible. It's a whole transformation that happens. Just like, you know, that guy you had on there that does a thousand voices. He's the same way. You know what? He gets in the character just like I do. I'm on stage. I'm Elvis Preston. You know, but off stage, I'm Angela. You know, and I do, you know, I do act silly. You know, uh, there's there's no doubt about that. Uh, I do voices uh, when I'm like grandpa or stuff like that, but that's me. You know, and I throw comedy in there too, you know, and like, you know, uh, people say, you know, how can you do that? Well, it's just your mindset, you know. So you're like, well, I got to entertain the fans, just like Elvis did. You know, he, he'll throw jokes like out of the blue. <laughs> but a life of an ETA can have its challenges. It will have its challenges. It will have its ups and its downs. But it depends on how you approach, approach it. You know, yeah, you're going to get people that's going to criticize you, you know, but don't look at it as, oh, you know, they're hurting me. You know, I'm going to give up. 
I've been in the business for 31 years, on and off. I've had criticism left and right. But if you really think about it, Paul, the ones that criticize you or me or any other ETA or any trivia artist, period, is they're strengthening you. You know, they're like, how you look at it, they're strengthening you. Well, easy. When they say, well, you know, Oh, you can't sing and this and this and that. Well, you look at it, it's like, well, I'm glad you feel that way. You know, here's a here's a memo that I always say. Um, love the ones that are unexpected. For the ones that do love you will love you back. You know, just like, you know, Paul, you got a lot of fans that watch you and they love you, but you got someone be like, ah, yo, I don't want to watch him or just like me and the guys you had before. We take it to heart. We really do. We take to our heart what we do to keep this man's memory alive. You know, but in realism, we stop and think and say, wow, you know, I can't believe that, you know, that criticism just hit me like that. Well, turn it around to a good thing. You know, um, like my YouTube channel, you know, when I started my YouTube channel, you know, you can tell when people are really interested because they keep watching the video over and over. But I have one Seriously, I have one that made a rude comment. Now, we're talking about, oh, we're talking about like seven years ago when I had my very first one. Uh, one guy says, you know, oh, you know, Elvis is turning over his grave, you know, and this and that. And at first, yeah, I, did, I, it, I took it to heart. I mean, and I turned around and I was like, you know what? I'm going to reply to him, but he thought I was going to reply with an attitude. But no, I, I replied, I said, you know what, sir? I'm going to be nice and gentle about this. You know, I'm sorry you feel that Elvis has turned over his grave, but you know what? With all due respect, Please do not leave any rude comments on my videos. And then I blocked them, you know. And I walked away for a little while of trying to get my thoughts to try to come up with new ideas. And now I'm back. I've been having my fan page for almost two years now. And now I'm entering this competition uh, in July. So like I said, my wife has been there. She's been holding on tight with me, you know, but she, <laughs> she will let me know. When I start to get discouraged, she'll tell me, "Hun, take a break. You know, take your break from this song for a while because she knows that if it's a new song, I'm gonna keep going and going and going and going until I hurt my voice. And but she tells me no, stop. And so I stop and I take a break. But I really do like doing what I'm doing. I mean, people, you know, I could say, yeah, I could be a police officer, or I could have been, you know a doctor, a lawyer, and all that. But if it wasn't in my path, then I'm not going to force something that wasn't in my path. And now I get, I don't, I mean, I don't only just do Elvis, but, you know, I sing, you know, country songs too, like Conway Twitty, George Jones, uh, Merle Haggard. I throw them into my music as well as doing Elvis. So 
I guess that's why a lot of people, I kind of throw them a twist because they're like, like you said, when I send you Minnie the Moocher, <laughs> I just vision if Elvis would have got his hands on Minnie the Moocher, how would he put it? And that's where everyone gets the meaning of, well, what is ETA, Elvis Tribute Artist? Well, if you look at the word artist and tribute, well, a tribute is you're doing other singers, but you're doing it in a form as Elvis. And that's what makes it more appealing to a lot of people. Like, wow, I mean, he's doing Hound Dog, but he's not doing the Hound Dog we hear. Or, wow, he done, you know, your cheating heart, but by someone else. So I've done, like I said, for 31 years uh, on and off, uh, I've learned a lot. I experienced a lot. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, it's time for me to get out there and stick to it. You know, and people might say, well, do you have the professional jumpsuits? Honestly, I will tell you honestly, no. I buy the store, the store type because I look at it this way. It's not the jumpsuit. It's the person that wears the jumpsuit makes the show. Exactly. You know, um, if anyone wants to follow me uh, on YouTube or Facebook, we'll get to that. Uh, but there's any other questions you have? Well, that was my next question. Well, that I was my next question. If they want to get hold of me on my fan page, they can go to HTTP dot slash slash t i n y dot c c slash angelo for my uh fan page or they want to get home on youtube they can go to angelo chavez mr entertainer on youtube and if hope everyone can see this um there's my information right there if they can see that um so, um, again, uh, my Facebook is http dot slash slash <laughs> tiny, which is T-I-N-Y dot C-C slash Angelo for my Facebook. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, Angelo Chavez, Mr. Entertainer on YouTube. <clears throat> um, I will be posting more videos uh, this week on my fan page, and my videos for YouTube are pre-recorded. So just let everyone know if they want to see what I have, uh, please feel free to follow me on both. Uh, they will get updates on my fan page, uh, what's coming new. Um, we have again, like I said, uh, for March 20th. Uh, I'm still in the process of working for the St. Jude. Uh, I will give them the timing, the time, and where the location will be at for uh, March 20th. Um, I'm not to be the only one on stage. Uh, there'll be a few other ETAs also will be on stage with me. So we're raising the money for St. Jude. Uh, Children's Research Hospital in Memphis. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, everybody, right. Talk to, uh, everybody uh, check out his pages uh, and go uh, see that concert. I'm sure they're going to see you there. Um, <laughs> before um, we go, uh, I think we're just ready to go. I think we're ready to go. I do believe you sent us a video, I think. Yes. You took it. Give us a little bit about why you picked these songs. All right, American Trilogy uh, is not a 
uh, song that Elvis did, but it means a lot to me because uh, my great, great, great grandfather was in the military um, on my dad's side. Um, my wife's uh, grandfather was in uh, World War II and our two boys are also in the Marines. So American Trilogy is very strongly to me. Uh, I use it in all my shows. So the clip that they're about to see is American Trilogy at one of my St. Jude benefit concerts that I did right here in Mount Vernon. Please enjoy the video and please subscribe and come to my fan page. You will not be disappointed. Okay, well, we'll watch okay. that. We'll, we'll watch that again, we'll Angelo, for coming on the show. Angelo, for coming on the show. Hey, come back if you got anything. Hey, you got anything. Hey, we'll be back. Well, thank you very much, Paul, and I will keep you updated on this upcoming event. And I'll be glad to come back. Okay, well, here it is. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Right here on Paul Mesh TV. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Don't go away. We'll be right back.
to all the men and women, God bless.